So just what happens when you fall silent on a narcissistic person? When you use their mistreatment of you on them? When you respect that they don't want to speak to you, so you stop going to chase them? How does this make a narcissistic person feel? And how will a narcissistic person react? Narcissistic people are some of the most self-entitled, arrogant, exploitative, envious, competitive people that you could ever meet. They fall silent on you usually because they're not getting their own way with you and they're looking for you to feel bad. They're looking for you to feel guilty. They're looking for you to chase them, plead with them, give them the attention that they believe that they're entitled to. So when they fall silent on you and you respect their silence and give them nothing, this angers them, this irritates them. This haunts them, this annoys them. And they can seek many different ways to punish you. They might find a new source of supply to get one over on you. They could start smearing your name, trying to ruin your reputation to get one over on you. If they need something from you, they might start being nice to get something from you. Or they could morph into the role, the victim of how you're ignoring them, how you're not being very kind to them, to those around you, so that people think that the smear campaign again, so people think that you're the terrible person. And with some narcissistic per people, because they are that competitive, they're not gonna back down. They're gonna remain silent towards you. They rationalise and justify why you're the one that's being insensitive, why you're the one that's being hurtful. However, they will remain silent towards you. I once remember asking a person that would fall silent towards me, fall silent towards their parents, fall silent towards their best friend, who they'd tried cheating with their best friend's partner with, they'd fall silent on their children, they'd fall silent on their work colleagues, they'd fall silent on anybody and everybody at the drop of a hat and it could be weeks, months or years before they would talk to that person again and they only ever spoke to that person again when they wanted something from that person again. The rest of the time they would not speak to that person and I did actually ask why do you stop talking to people and they did respond with, because it hurts when people don't speak to me, so I know it hurts them. So they know exactly what they're doing. They're doing it to hurt people. They're doing it to punish people. So there are some narcissistic people, as long as they don't believe they don't want anything from you, that will, once you fall in silence on them, will remain silent towards you. There are also those that are going to double down and escalate their games to hurt you, to punish you back, to get a reaction from you any way they can. They might start dragging you through the court for various things so that they still feel important within your life. They might start playing mind games with young children to get you to back down in their eyes because they believe that you're in the wrong, but they're that competitive. They need to win, so they're not willing to understand your point of view. They're just willing to hurt and punish you to get their needs met by you. They could start faking illnesses, claiming loved ones are severely ill, to get you to be the one that starts talking to them, that reaches out to them. Narcissistic people play many different mind games because they're, they're seeking that excessive attention. They're seeking to exploit people and they are seeking to win. 
So just as one of the best responses to deal with a narcissistic person is to just fall silence on them and leave them to go and live their life while you go and live yours, as much as this can work with some narcissistic people, with other narcissistic people, this is going to trigger a narcissistic injury and they are going to go all out to punish you for daring to fall silent on them. They're going to go all out to destroy your life for daring to fall silent on them. If they know that you have enough potential evidence to expose them, as much as they will believe that you've made this up because they don't do anything wrong and rules just don't seem to apply to them, they believe you've got enough evidence to expose them as they fear exposure. Or if you've got enough evidence that if those around them were to find, it, find out, those around them might potentially abandon them because they fear being abandoned, there's a good chance that a narcissistic person will leave you alone. However, most of them do seek to try and punish you. And sometimes you do have to hold on for the ride that they're going to drag you through. As soon as you respond, as soon as you react to one thing, they know they've got you. And to a narcissistic person, it's a game on. The more you hold your ground, the more you stand your ground, the more you, to the narcissist, fail to take their bait. The more you resist temptation to defend yourself, to explain yourself, to justify yourself. The more you resist the urge to ask them to stop feel like if you just told them in a different way they might understand how they're hurting you the more you resist that and the more you ignore them the sooner they're going to run out of games to play the sooner they're going to realize that they're not getting what they want from you they're still going to blame you they're still going to find a way to justify why it's all your fault within their mind However, because they're not getting the desired reaction from you, the more likely it is that they will leave you alone. One of the best ways to deal with a narcissistic person is don't deal with them. Go no contact. It isn't always possible for various reasons, in which case it then needs to be limited contact and grey rock and don't give them what they are after. Don't give in to temptation when they start be nice and look like they're about to compromise. When they've, when they've claimed that they're willing to compromise and let you down in the past and then blamed you for why they let you down and then claimed to compromise again and let you down again, they're not going to suddenly change. They're just claiming they're going to compromise so that they can get one over on you. It's very difficult to stand your ground against those that you fear saying no to. However, sometimes it's the only way to get those people out of your life so that you can live a much happier life for you. So how does a narcissistic person react to your silence? Badly. Some will leave you alone. Others will escalate their games. Be careful when dealing with narcissistic people. It's those very people who, as much as you try to protect yourself from them, they believe they're entitled to a piece of your life. They feel they're entitled to a piece of you. If anyone has any behaviours you witnessed when you stopped speaking to a narcissistic person, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. 
if you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partners with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.